what is it like to be me? That's a good question. And what's it like to play games? At five years old or four years old, someone says, hey, you from the sky, do you want to be a rock star? No idea what a rock star is. And, he, you know, from that point on, it was like, yes, sir, no, sir. Oh, make sure smoke, I do man. Trees don't born with a right hand. Oh, games that you play over mean, 45 years. No vegetables is a way to really get paid. Owners, I think a bunch of experiments okay. on me with different I think I got your billionaires. Peace and care forever. I'm part of the high tech money. I'm on the brown marbles. I'm vegetables. They try certain drugs to see what it does to you. Everybody starts yelling and screaming. That's the way it goes. Take the corn out. Now take the peas and carrots out. And then the owner of the world says, whoever gets it all done first gets a zillion dollars. This is all the vegetable game. If there's one thing they want to know about me, well, I don't know. That's a tough question. I grew up in Toronto. I was born in Toronto. And my dad was an engineer. And my mom was just a housewife that raised uh, three children in the house. And, um, you know, she did the best she could. My schooling wasn't the greatest. Had a problem making friends back then as well. So uh, I was uh, 17 or 18 when I moved out of the house. I was actually kicked out of the house and uh, that was pretty much the end of the family business there. I got uh, five children and uh, married twice. I had always had to work, so they had to do their own thing, right? It was 1995 after the the separation with the wife and the house fell apart or because I couldn't afford it. The wife left to go up north and uh, left me with all the bills so I couldn't keep everything going. And that's when I stopped and they put me in the hostel. A uh, whole day consists of there's waking up, taking a shower, eating breakfast. I go for my coffee in the morning. Lunchtime, 12 o'clock. I haven't watched TV for the last five years on the negative side because of um, if you watch the diner TV, it gives you an operation. So I mean... <laughs> I don't want an operation or anything like that, so I don't watch it at all. But I listen to it and I see it through the reflection of a window. Dinner time, I'm in bed by about 10 o'clock. That's been like that for 12 years straight. And the only thing I have to make sure I do is everything's not the same picture. Like if I go take a shower, I have to make sure my toes are not on the same square. I have to make sure my fingers change on, uh, on napkins. When I go take a crap, let's just say, make sure there's not the same toilet paper. And a, a, a whole course of the year, nothing will match up on a day. That's, that's, the, uh, that's the nature of the game. I, I went to a lot of doctors. I just told them what it was, what I was doing. I said, I'm at the hospital playing games, and it's for a lot of money. You know, you try, you, people start saying, oh, you're crazy. You, you know, you must be insane, right? No, I'm not insane. There's no money. They signed me, made me sign a paper, piece of paper saying, I hope you have good time with your mental illness. I said, you need some mental illness help in this thing, because the family fell apart. I mean, they probably knew I was going here anyways. Um, schizophrenic, I think it's been in the family. My mom, she said, she's always talked about schizophrenia. Every time I talked to her about, uh, you know, this and that and the other, as growing up as a child, you know, maybe you maybe part schizo, you know, it was like, and she was always on the pills anyway, so I mean, bring her medical background, see what she's done for 45 years. Uh, I mean, uh, we all have uh, a double head on our heads, so I mean, uh, is either good or bad is what I like. I mean, talking to people. As long as you don't hurt people, that's that's the main thing. If someone approached me on the street, which many policemen have and many people on in the street area here have, I mostly tell them it's a game and it's for food and a heater. It's not hard. Actually, the first two months is the hardest. And after that, you don't know how long you're going to do it for. The first thing you hear is you're going to be doing it forever. Then you hear, don't ever turn around. Then you have to understand the weather has to be OK. And your shoes have to be very you know, up to grade. Otherwise, you'll have problems there. My backwards walk is uh, about 15 minutes a day to Tim Hortons every day. And I don't miss a day unless it's really, really pouring rain. There's nothing else to do, nowhere else to go. I always have to make sure I make a left turn instead of going around the right side of someone because that's when they charge you your food or your heaters. And if you're ever familiar with the band called GNR, I got lasers all up top there and they just keep shooting all my hairs off as I walk back and forth.
Everything I do helps people. I'm helping people who, who are, I think, probably unfortunate. I also walk backwards for other people in those apartments. I think their apartments go up two degrees a month. I mean, the game is, the game is all or nothing. If I stop walking backwards, I believe the computer will kick in back into hell zone where I won't get food, I won't have a heater. It's a weird behavior, yeah, but MJ does. You want to know another one? David Lee Roth does too. Why? Because it gets you out of trouble. It gets you out of seat house. It's been 20 years since I've seen my family. I would assume they're all up, up, up north and they're supposed to be waiting for the outcome of uh, the 17 or 18 years at Seton House here. The most important thing in my life would be right, well, it was family back then, and then it was, it's now the game. You can't, can't compare the two when you're separated. So yeah, I mean, I miss them, but I'm making the money, bringing the money home. And then at the end, it's gotta be the party. Now I'm 50 years old, and so it's been a long trip. 10 years from now, I can't tell you where I'm going to be. My name is Marty, or Martin Berlin. Uh, that was 50 years of, of my life. How do you like that? You know, I can't tell you anything else, because I don't know if, if it makes sense. It's pretty complicated stuff. Stay young, everybody lives forever. I'll never change for a hundred years, a thousand years, I told them. The end. <laughs>